from uh, one of my friends online about the uh, Further Nelson, or some people call it the Stockade, or uh, Pops and Billy Witch called it the Sugar Hold if it was done right. Um, and it's a good technique, but it's one of those techniques that people watch it on YouTube and then they try it and it doesn't work for them because they really don't know how to wrestle into it. So in the event that you get your opponent on his back, you've thrown him, take him down or whatever, and he doesn't know that you should work from his side and not from his back. Uh, the way most people teach this on YouTube is, is underneath, they say, okay, when you get to this point, you push the arm up, you put your hand in the armpit, and you roll him up into the stockade, or further Nelson, Pops would put the hand out here to get more leverage on the back of the head, and he called that the sugar hole, okay? Very good technique, especially for striking, where you can submit your opponent from here. The problem is, is that in the real world, if he doesn't want me to push his arm up from here, this is just not gonna happen. You know, I think, well, maybe he's got his arm out, and he's bracing or something, I might catch it. It's still gonna be a battle, because he can use all those muscles to fight against me. So what I want to do is, at some point, take the opportunity just to block his elbow. It can be out here, it can be, he can even have it in here, it doesn't matter, but I've just got to trap the elbow against the mat. I put my hand in his armpit, I shift my hips through, and I roll up into it, okay? So you have to kind of wrestle into it to get the position. One more time. So I take opportunity to, to, to trap the elbow, wherever it is, to pin it against the mat. Hand goes in the armpit, okay? I'm controlling this arm with my leg on the other side from my proper side control. I shift my hip through and I walk up into it to get the position. Okay?